I don't see this in the news. But from all indications, from everything I can see, the, um, the demonstrations in Iran continue. The uh, mocking of the regime continues. The demand uh, for the regime to fold, the demand for a complete and utter revolution and, and getting rid of the theocracy continues. The brave young girls and women of Iran continue to, uh, you know, to stand up against the theocrats. The theocrats continue to use violence against them, and the violence is becoming more deadly. But it has not escalated to the point where they're willing to kill hundreds or willing to kill thousands of people. Well, hundreds are already dead, but, but thousands of people. And I think the reason for that is that this revolution, this uprising by young people, is popular. It's popular across many, many cities and many, many strata of the Iranian population. And I think the regime is truly scared about escalating the violence and therefore escalating the demonstrations and therefore risking a real revolution. There also might be, and this is the most positive spin you could put on this, there might be a real power struggle within Iran. There actually might be uh, a, a struggle for among more moderate theocrats, uh, because it's all theocrats, but more moderate theocrats to give in, to maybe loosen the rules around the hijabs maybe do stuff like that. Now, whether that will appease uh, th th these young girls, I don't know, because they're really demanding an end for this regime. But there could be a power struggle, and that's, again, why they're not using more deadly force. So um, I, I see nothing about this in the press, nothing on this on ma mainstream media. Uh, you know, I keep watching on my Google News Feed, or my Apple News Feed, on other news feeds. There's almost zero... Uh, coverage of this, you know, one of the things, but but uh, Twitter covers this well. Uh, you know, uh, uh, citizen journalists uh, are posting videos, are covering this, uh, are, are bringing this to the surface. So, uh, you know, the only really place to find information about what's going on in Iran is on Twitter. Uh, one of the things that's happening is are these videos that are being posted um, of young girls, uh, primarily girls running up to these different clerics and mullahs and knocking their head, um, you know, their, their turban or whatever their head thing is called, off their head and running away. And uh, I think this is great. I think this shows uh, the appropriate disrespect for the mullahs. It shows the appropriate disrespect for their headwear, headgear. Um, and it shows the bravery of these young women. They often do it in uh, uh, where the mullahs are alone, or where they can get a, they can they can run away safely. Somebody's also filming it. So there's multiple videos up on on Twitter, which I love, um, humiliating these religious fanatics and these religious nuts by knocking their their headgear off. I mean, you gotta admire, you know, the bravery. I mean, look, you know, we all. I here I am talking about stuff and. You guys might have radical political positions and, you know, we all think we're so, we're so great. But the reality is our lives are not at risk. The reality is nobody's going to put us in jail for what we speak. We can complain. The worst that can happen is YouTube might say, you're on, we're not going to monetize your video. Or really worst case, we're going to kick you off of YouTube. Okay, that would be bad. But eh, these people are risking their lives. These people are risking jail. These people are, are risking everything. Everything for freedom. And, and how many people in the freedom movement, how many people in the liberty movement globally are using this as inspiration? I'm inspired. I am motivated. God, if they can, if, if, if young 15, 16, 17 year old girls can go around knocking head uh, gear off of these mullahs, I, you know, what's to stop us? Nobody's out there stopping us. Biden, Trump, give me a break. So um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm inspired by them. I thank them for the inspiration. There's still people out there willing to really fight for liberty, fight for their own freedom, fight for their own lives. Uh, there's still people out there willing to mock religion in the name of liberty. Cool. Very cool. All right. Amin, thank you again. Amin has been very supportive in the last few weeks. Um, and I uh, appreciate it. So, yeah, so you will continue to see coverage on this show, on the Iran Book Show, maybe the only show out there. Well, there's, there's some Iranian-focused shows, but maybe only 
one of the only shows with, 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 that has broad uh, topics regularly covering what's going on in Iran. Uh, let's hope these demonstrations continue so there's something to cover. Uh, but I, I will not give up on these girls uh, and, and, and the people of Iran and anybody who f- actually is willing to fight for freedom. I admire and respect and I'm going to give them time on this show uh, for that. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support. Or go to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.